Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill. Now today I'm sitting in my car and I'm getting ready to go in there and that's an amusement park. And you're probably thinking, well, it, that doesn't look like where are the roller coasters. Well, it's my amusement park. It's actually a woodworking store. And when I go there, everything's a thrill ride. <laughs> okay, you hear what I'm saying to you? So here's the thing, I'm getting ready to go inside, but I gotta be very, very careful because I don't wanna come out of there with a lot of stuff, okay? Here's the thing, my birthday's coming up in, in just a few days, and I'm not saying this because I want you guys to buy me stuff, that's not the reason for it. It's also around the same time as Father's Day, and many of you may be kind of stumped about what to buy the woodworker in your life. So today's video, I'm going to take you inside this store, and I'm going to show you things in all different price ranges that are perfect for woodworkers. A lot of these tools I already have, and a lot of these tools I really want, and I have to be, again, careful. Okay, so what you're looking at here are some of the smaller woodworking tools. Now, my eye goes straight to the tools that I want, right? Okay, now here's a tool I would love to have that I don't have. I've got a marking gauge, but this is a wheel marking gauge. So what it does is it measures and marks at the same time. So if you're in the dovetails, if you're doing dovetail work, this is a tool you'll need. Now this is a dovetail marker, and this is a perfect example of something that's, you know, rather cheap. It's under $10, but it is very valuable to a woodworker. Okay, next up is the Woodpecker Mini Square. You want to impress somebody? Get up one of these, because these are great tools. You know, they're really good for furniture making, because a lot of times the dimensions you're working with when you're doing furniture projects are very, very small, and that's where something like this comes in very handy. Now this is a tool that I have back in the shop. And what it is, is a divider. And it has a few different uh, uses, but I use my divider to lay out dovetails. Now I'm gonna put this stuff aside because this here actually is a tool. So what we have here underneath the tools is a woodworking bench. Now, what I'm gonna tell you is this, okay? See these holes? They're for dogs. And that's what this is. This is a dog. Keep stock in place when you're putting something in your tail vise, which is what this is. This has got holes for dogs, too. What I will tell you is this, okay? A woodworking bench that you purchase, they're really nice to have. Most woodworkers build their own benches, but if you can buy somebody a woodworking bench like this one here, Oh, you're making a real statement. These are beautiful to work on. Now I'm in the wood section of the woodworking shop. And what I will tell you is, most woodworkers, they, you know, they purchase rough cut lumber. But if you give somebody like exotic wood, <laughs> they're not going to turn it down. Like for example, this leopard wood. Wow, look at that. Or take a look at this. Oh, this is very dense. What we have here are turning blanks. So if you know somebody who's a turner and turns bowls, this is a good gift. This is a slab of wood, and live, what they call live edge, is very popular today, and that's what this is right here. That's called the live edge. We're over here in the Craig section, and Craig is famous for making, in my opinion, the Cadillac of pocket hole jigs. That's what this is, and anybody that doesn't have one of these things wants one. Now, what I want to tell you is Jeff at Woodcraft Seattle. He did us a big favor by taking out the saw so we could get a close-up look because even though these saws may look alike, they have very different duties in a wood shop. Now this right here, this is called a dovetail saw, okay? And what I will tell you is, it is much smaller in size. 
which we've got two tenon saws here. Notice how big and stocky they are compared to the dovetail saw because the job of a tenon saw is very different. This is a rip tenon saw here, and this is what's called a cross-cut tenon saw. Now let's move down. This saw here, this is just a small cross-cut saw, but this right here, this is called a carcass saw. Now what I will tell you is this, if you can only afford one saw, a carcass saw is a good all-around saw to have. Okay, right here, these are woodworking mallets. Here's a, this is a different style. And what I will tell you is, woodworkers, chances are they're going to make their own mallet, but if you get them one, oh, they're going to love you for it. Even a gallon of glue? Oh my goodness. We use glue all the time in the wood shop. You know what, they're even really stylish today. So that's it folks, and I think I've got a few ideas to share with my family about what I want for my birthday. Now, I've got to say this before I go. If you're a father out there, I want to wish you a happy Father's Day. Oh, and listen, don't try to remember everything that I've shown you in this video. I'll place a link in the description below so you can easily find these items yourself and, you know, check them out. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.